Hello Brandon, Robert here. Hello Amanda, of course. So here we are, we are at 6107 Grable. This is the, uh, excuse me, this is the um, Arvada. Three car, it's got a faux stone exterior, has a craftsman style. Just kind of give you an idea of what's next door here. You're the lucky house that gets the massive big power box. So just past that third car there, that's the main street in. So you're one, two, three, four, five houses in. And then just up there, you can see the park. All right, I'll take you in. It's a nice little area there for some seating. You could go ahead and put a porch swing up quite easily, I would think. It's a digital lock. Ooh, she has not given me the code. So now we see if we can get in through a garage door. We can't. Being from Manchester, I have a master's in breaking and entering. There is a side door down here. We'll see if we left it open or not. It's a bit muddy. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Now we'll see if this door's open. Oh, yes, it is. So here's your garage, three car, nice and long, which is great because your stairs take up a little bit of space just here. I'll let Amanda talk to you about the quirks of this door. When it opens, it hits the banister. Architectural fail. Garage door openers included. Great little mudroom locker area when you walk in. Lots of space for shoes down there. And you could add some above if you wanted to, after the fact. And a coat closet. It's quite deep. So we come around the corner. Granite countertops. You know, quartz, which is the most popular right now. Frigidaire appliances. I think in the others they have GE. But these are Frigidaire Gallery, so that's definitely an upgrade. These cabinets are all having hardware attached to them. You know, when you have white cabinets, you always see the seams. Can't get rid of them. Super duper gas stove. Your refrigerator would go there. They are including your refrigerator. Huge island. So you can certainly get three, if not four, stools, if not five, actually. Okay, I'm gonna just turn around for a second. More counter prep space, and then a nice big pantry. A really big pantry. With five levels of shelves. This is a vinyl plank floor. You've got pendant lights in, and you've got recessed lighting. There's your dining light, and then I would assume that is a pre-wire for a fan. No fireplace in this one, but they have gone ahead and put in power and conduit there for a television to get mounted. This is a long room. Little powder room here. 
And then this is a little closet which could be used for coats and hats, but I think would be used best for vacuum cleaners and cleaning products. So outside in the yard, can, oh, please hold. Nice covered patio. You've got some green space between you and the neighbor. And right now, the swale, the water flow in this backyard is nice. Kind of a casual swale to get the water away from the house. I'll talk to you more about that. Solid fence at the side, but they like open railing fences on green space. All right. Back towards the front of the home. So it's nice and high up here. So this would be the formal dining, flex room, media room, playroom. It's quite a big space. And then an office up here. And uh, Amanda and I were talking to Kristen, the sales rep, about how this really needs to have some kind of door put in. Otherwise, it's kind of not pointless as an office, but not exactly functional. So this is level one carpet, which means base carpet. So with kids, and if you've got a dog as well, Dia Horton, whatever carpet they seem to choose as their level one carpet, does seem to wear pretty easily. So you've got twin sinks, tile floor, tile in the bathroom here. Amanda liked how you could close the door off. These bedrooms are all a good size. We'll see next door in a minute at the Evans floor plan. The bedrooms are huge. Not a walk-in closet, but a good size. I do love these light switches. So a little furnace room here. You've got two furnaces in this house. Here's the master suite. Bed would go most likely here on the back wall. That has the yard. Nice view out there. It's like, I didn't say didn't see that before, but it's like a little climbing wall there. See that? That's kind of cool. A bench. Master bathroom. Twin sinks again. Nice tile floor. You know, fairly basic walking shower. It's got a bench, it's tile, but it's not a mud set pan, it's a plastic pan. It's not a fancy European style door. Soaking tub. And then the toilet. With the linen closet. And then the walk-in closet here. Yes, two-sided, hers and, well, probably his and then hers. The lady always gets the shelf for her shoes. Decent size, not huge, but a decent size. This all looks to be quartz. I'll say hello. Hello. Okay. We'll go check out the guest rooms. Like the thermostat here as well as downstairs for the two different furnaces. Laundry on the upper level. With a drain on the floor that I love. This is this in-law area, as Amanda like to call it. And that's all tile. 
huge windows. And then walk-in closet. That's bedroom number two of the guest rooms, three if you include the master. And kind of a loft area, gaming area. It's a bit tight. Would make a good little exercise room for, you know, a bike, one piece of equipment, two, you know, two at the most. And then again, another very good sized bedroom. Let me take you to the basement. So I was saying to Amanda that this seems much more conducive for a house with young kids because you will be on the same level with them. Whether Evans feels a little bit more like a teenager home with the master being on the main. Well, here's the basement. It's suggested that this would be kind of a hangout area. This would all get framed in as a utility area, small storage. There's your rough in for the basement. And this is where the guest room would be just here and then this could all be unfinished or this could be a movie room area and then that line there you would go ahead and use that wall that up and make it as unfinished storage and we did discover some kind of moisture issue there we're getting more details on that All right, Brandon, that is the Arvada.